we quickly just took off the hard top and the bolt that is going to hold all this together should be underneath here i have no clue how to get this even out i have no clue how to do this but i'm going to figure it out and i'll show you guys once i do off of it, these are all loose. What I do is I just mount it from in between this. So give me a second. Hold this into where it's supposed to be. Um the one thing I didn't really account for is I want my POV cam to be able to work, which means I'm going to have to move this over and adjust it and move it over closer to over here so I can try to get the perspective I want is for it to be right there capturing this corner of my hands and my head right there. So the angle I'm going to go for is more over here and I'll make sure that I can fit right here and look over and the harness is going to sit over there. Ever since I got my seats, I've been looking for a good harness to put in. I finally have the harness today. I'm going to install it, give you guys a review of it, and I'm excited to actually take it for a drive, see how it hold me, and I'll no longer be wearing on this side with the seat belt, so I'm excited about that. I know this is going to be the front, and this is the clip that goes into my harness. I'm not going to worry about that side of it. I'm going to worry about this side of it, the side that has a screw in. These are for your uh, buckle. Um, these, these mount into your buckle locations. Instead, I won't be running the buckle. Instead, this will be wrapped around my harness bar. You guys need a roll cage or a harness realistically to be able to run one of these. So I'm going to take off this little plastic and we'll get the rest of it. Okay, so since we're no longer going to be using, there's a word for this, um, but since we're no longer going to be using this as a mounting way, instead I'll be wrapping around the roll cage. Instead, what I have to do is undo this side of it. Now the way to lock it in is by wrapping it around three times. I'm going to undo those three wraps and what we'll do is we'll slip this down and out and then I'm going to take off the clamps from my shoulder ones. Instead this is where I'll be mounting up for the final location. I'll be wrapping this around the bar that is behind me instead. So we'll be removing this on these two. I'll be doing the same to the other one and then I'll show you wrapping around the bar. So the amazing part about this one is these are two different pieces. Normally this is all one piece, and so to adjust length, you have to adjust this side of it. The good part about this is once this is locked into place, regardless of this, I can always adjust the length of this one because this is a separate piece. So I can push this up, and then I can pull and make adjustments on the front portion of it to make sure it fits perfect without having to need to adjust the rear of it. So I'm going to get the rear installed, and then we're going to adjust the front to make sure it fits 110 percent. I'm going to feed through the, my seat onto the bar and then we're going to pull this through and then what is going to happen is I'm going to get my metal piece right here and what I'll do is I'll wrap it underneath in front of it. So, so now that I have this, it can move either side. As you guys can see, I'm gonna leave enough room where I think I'm good on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the, uh, I'm gonna wrap the harness underneath. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the long side back through into this metal clamp, feed it through all the way, lock it into its position, go through, there we go. I'm going to go back under, so I've wrapped it through twice now. As a locking way, you need to, or to lock it, you need to be able to wrap it through three times. So, got it through, I'm going to feed it through, there's a twist in it, so I'm going to cut. Okay, so now that i wrapped it through twice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra di a distance of strap, and I'm going to feed it back through the top this way and out as a final way to make sure that this is locked into place. So I'm going to grab I'm going to grab the harness 
twist it. Try to feed it through that edge. It's a little bit harder. There's a reason for that. You don't want your harness to become undone based on impact or regular use. So when you do it a third time, it locks it down nice in place. Now, preferably what I would do is there would be a bar, a metal little tinier bar that wraps around here. And what you do is you would twist this around and be able to clean up this. Unfortunately, I don't have that. So for this, I'm just going to tuck down underneath and that will be how I make it clean for now. The good part about it is you want it no more than 20 degrees angle when you pull from the front down from this. So it feels pretty good to me. If anything, I actually need to make this a little bit tighter because I want this to rest right here. So I have a little bit more to gap, which means I'm going to have to pull this back through and change it once again. Should not record. Let me know when you record. I'm recording. Okay, now that we got one side hooked up, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I want to make sure that they're parallel and at the same height. So this is where this needs to be. I'm going to hold this down here and then I'm going to make sure I make this metal bracket right in front of my harness bar. Time to start wrapping it up and getting it ready. There we go. Second one done again. I don't have a place to be able to wrap this up, organize and all neat. So for now, it's just going to hang down. There we go. Both the top ones are done. Time to do the side ones and then a middle one if I have enough time. Okay, I'm recording. Okay, so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna find the size that matches for both the seat belt and the seat belt, the thing that you clip into, uh, the seat buckle. I'm gonna take out both of those nuts and instead what we're gonna be doing is screwing on these instead. So I can easily clip the harness onto these and they'll get stuck. So when I have this mounted, I go like this to my harness, it clips on and it's stuck there. So it's easy to install the submarine belts, not the submarine belt, the side belts, uh, and I can install this super easily. After multiple tries and having to undo my seat, I got both of those egglets in, I forget what they're actually called, um, but down there, both of them are screwed in. What I did is I clipped in my seat belt behind my seat, so that way the seat belt light won't go off. Eventually, I'll actually like, send a relay to it so it gets a positive signal, and I'll fix this. What I could do is just cut off the clip, leave the clip in there, and then mount that somewhere, but for now, this is what we'll do. So we avoid that, but now all I have to do is get the side pieces in, and then we're good to go. Clip in. Clip. Clip. I feel like I am planted in this thing. The driving position from when I first drove this car to now is completely different. The experience on this is like, I am not moving. I'm moving the whole car when I move that. Do you feel that? Uh -huh. This is a really beautiful harness. I really love the subtle details on it. It feels really planted. I'm excited to actually drive this. I'm gonna go quickly around the block just to make sure it feels good. And then I also have this quick little dashi which we will quickly open up. Dasai. Here. It's a cute little car guide that reacts as you're driving. Here's a little pamphlet. This is version two. Here are all the different emojis. There's a ton of different emojis. It plays Pong, it cries, it does all this fun stuff. Uh, I'll be keeping this. It has this cute little cover on the very top of it. Once you open this up, let me get rid of that. Here is your little guy. There's a ton of different colors, and I chose the red, because the Miata is red, of course. I just thought it matched. Surprisingly, the color, the red color of this, really is close to the Miata color. Super cool. Really love how it looks. Now time to turn on the car, see if it works. Oh, you know what I need to do? I locked the steering wheel, so I need to move this. Oh, oh. Honey, that the fucking coolest thing? Bluetooth connection success. So, you bop him. I don't know how to make a noise. Ooh. 
Okay, well, we'll see what he does. That's so fucking cool. This car makes me happy. Not have to film him. Because it's the only thing you can really see in here. Oh, is that a police? That's a police officer. Also, maybe you can film that. Of course, when we go out and I am shooting, but you cannot see that is, that is a police officer randomly in a parking lot. Of course, the one time I go out to go shoot. He's super fucking cute. He's gonna make my drives a lot more enjoyable. He makes little emojis and characters, and he matches the car. Like that, a little sneeze. Um, as far as the harness goes, there's no light in here, so I can't really show you guys the harness. Um, it is keeping me planted. Like, I feel... I feel so fucking planted. I'm not moving side to side. These old Miata seats, when they were stock, do not bolster you. You, like, fly around in them, and it's so hard to, like, stay in your seat. I am stuck into my seat right now. I wish you knew what this felt like. Oh my goodness. You, when you brake, it hangs on you because you can't move. Like, you're just one with this car. My wonderful forever is about to sit in this car and tell me how she enjoys it. Goddamn, the seats. The ones look really good. There's no middle boy right now because I couldn't mount the middle boy. So for now, it's a four point. Most are four point harnesses. Five point are only for like racing, race cars. Okay. So you mount the two bottom ones. There you go. And then you bring back over each shoulder and grab your shoulder one. You grab it. You clip it in. Are you even recording? Yep, I'm recording. Clip it in the middle right there. Awesome. And you do the same thing with the other side. Yep. And then move around. For me, it's a little bit larger because you know I'm tiny. Yeah, you need a, you needed to be tightened in a little bit. But do you see how like firmly you feel like you're held in? I'm like, gonna go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sturdy. Doesn't it feel sturdy? And then that harness bar, doesn't it look really good with the way that it's run through the back of that into the front? It feels like I'm receiving a nice big old hug the whole time. Yeah. I'm super excited about how this turned out. And you can't see anything, it's all tucked away. Um, looks really good. My only thing is I gotta recolor this shoulder uh, from the wear of wearing a real seatbelt in this. Um, but it's all done and it's all finally put together. Starting to feel a little bit more like a solid car. And look at the paint. If you look at this and then look at that, it's the exact same paint color. It's like the exact same. So. If you guys enjoy this video, please drop a comment or like and subscribe. I do genuinely appreciate it. These builds wouldn't be possible without your guys' support. Considering the fact that three years from today when I'm filming this would be my first year anniversary of owning this car, a lot has changed. We added a front lip, new wheels, hard top, 326 wing, a bride seat, quick release, a harness bar, and then a full harness system, a exhaust, a valve cover. We've done a lot to this car, and I plan on doing a lot more. One of the next things I want to do, which will be a super cheap mod, is LED little turn signals all the way around. It's literally like $70 on eBay, um, but I think it's going to help transform this car quite a bit. Oh, I also forgot. I also got a diffuser and side skirts for this car. But anyways... If you guys like the content so far, please drop a subscribe. And on top of that, I have more builds in the way. Uh, Mustang is going to get put on a full wide body. I have three-piece wheels for that car. Next summer, spring is when that's going to be run. Uh, and this car is actually in a show in a week from now. And I'm driving to Chicago for another video. You guys will see down the line. So content is not coming to a halt in any way, shape, or form. If anything, it's just now beginning. I'm super excited for this next year. See now, big crib living solitary. No with the interior cream.